Hello guys, this is Eric Day from ACS Learning Hub. Alright, so today I'm here to actually uh, have a quick uh, analyze about this 4 hours uh, trading. Okay, so let us go into this uh, ACAT first. Okay, let me see ACAT. Okay, Aussie CAT. Alright, let's take a look at Aussie CAT. Okay, so basing on this. Uh, day one right now okay we are looking at day one day one is actually supported and now currently is going on the uptrend okay so it looks like looks like a bear bull market not bear market I'm sorry <laughs> bull market okay so uh, coming into this chart here okay we can see the support level is here all right there's a support level okay so if i'm doing a short right now it is not advisable okay so let's move on to aussie frank aussie frank right i i'm looking for a trade to do short in these four hours okay um perhaps not this Four hours cycle, maybe the next one, but I'll take a look first. Let's analyze. For so for day one, the trend, the general trend right now is still being supported, and uh, it is still not advisable to have a short right now. Okay, and for Aussie yen over here, Aussie yen, all right, Aussie yen. Okay, let's look at Aussie yen. It is still supported as well. So right now, looking at this currently in uh, h4 also is being supported okay so over here it's also running uh, in h1 also are supported all right it's also being supported whereby we can see this part here okay there's a red candle and the green candle this is being supported this is not very advisable to do a short right now for day one in aussie kiwi okay day one aussie kiwi all right so currently looking at the whole chart here okay it's being supported as well and you see this uh looking at this i when i look at this candle over here first of all basing on my charts here uh it is still on the long side because my aqua line is still above the white line is still on the long side it's still on the bull side huh okay so over here uh, it has a it has an opening okay and being su being supported back so today there's a gap here okay gap up here and it's still going on the long side huh so right now it is still not advisable even for intraday short trend short trading not advisable at all and again going to aussie dollar okay aussie dollar all right aussie dollar uh, looks good all right because uh, right now in terms of uh, my chart over here is showing a suppression and coming towards this chart here okay looking at this it looks good to short in terms of the general reading but it's still not the time yet it's still not the time yet because in our cycle over here it is still not into the bear market yet it's still even not it, it, it has not even you know processed the bear market okay so let me analyze what are the let me do some trade setup to pick up the currency pairs that we want to do a short okay of course for those that uh, i'm not picking up for short that means it's still going for long huh? okay <laughs> you know what i mean all right all right euro aussie euro aussie right now is still being supported in general okay but uh started to change it started to change uh working on the changes in the trend for this interchange uh right now i would say that uh euro aussie it may has a chance to short it may has a chance to short okay euro aussie okay it may has a chance to short oh um, but uh, again is that uh, we're still waiting for day one to show us the resisted area okay to have a shot over here all right um all right so well guys remember to click on the subscribe button if you have not okay to follow me i will be i will be trying my best to do it every day for this analysis okay i try to do it every day for all of you so that you can have a better direction what to trade okay 
All right, guys. So for Eurocat again being supported, of course, I in my chart I have a blue arrow indicated the uh, a long possible trend, and H4 it is still you know hovering there. Not sure where it is going. As for my H1, which is uh to to my reading here is a cycle trading here. It has not actually show me a very clear it has not shown me a very clear short signal yet okay so hang on with it okay you can keep a lookout okay so the next one euro franc i will give you a miss right now for euro franc first okay euro pound okay euro pound yes okay this is something good that i'm looking at Euro pound, okay. We have a we have a my side here, okay. It's showing the resisted area over here, okay. And looking at the candle movement right now, it seems like it's uh continue to short, but uh, I'm waiting for the H1 to form another resistance, okay. A resistance that means something like this. A green, red, red candle over here. Let let's have a few hours later. Maybe it has another, another green, red, red. Okay, then probably I will I will start trading on Euro Pound. Okay, so right now it is in this cycle. It, it, it is still being supported. Okay, so for Euro Yen, Euro Yen. Let's take a look. Euro Yen definitely is out of my league for short. Okay, so it will. It may need a few more hours to conclude. Okay, probably, yeah. So I think it's not yet. All right. So give a miss first. Let's go to Euro Kiwi now. Euro Kiwi, it is not advisable for short. Okay, Euro Kiwi is not advisable for short right now. All right. So because I think uh, Euro Kiwi, it has. Showing a uh, in general, it is supported. Okay, over here, you can see it is the supported area here, and right now it's showing that it seems like resisted within the bull trend. That means we are at. If I'm doing a short, it seems like an anti-trend trading. All right, so it's not very advisable to do a short right now. Okay, next, let's go to Euro Dollar. Euro Dollar. All right, Euro dollar. Okay, I will see that probably it may not be today. In the next few days, probably will be better. Okay, so well, okay. So let's see, Euro dollar is still on the bull side. So no, not for me. Okay, pound Aussie. Let's look at pound Aussie. All right, pound Aussie definitely a bull. All right, definitely a bull because from the support, they have been for the past few days. It has been going long. Okay, so right now, according to this, now it has a little retracement. Okay, but for Power Aussie, if you want to do a short, it will be, it will be an anti-trend trading. So you are trading a short within a bull market. So likely you are you are you are you are you are hoping for a retracement. Okay, so. Hopefully you can grab some, but not for long. Okay, not for too, not for too many pips up there, huh? Pound cat. Okay, pound cat. Looking at pound cat, uh, right now it is still it has been supported for the past few days. It's still going on the bull side, and it has it has surpassed the previous green candle, and it's showing showing me that it's still on the accumulation side, huh? For the long buying volume. So probably all these are just uh, retracement, okay. But cycle meeting this uh, resistance over here, it seems like uh, it may have some resistance. But I will not take a shot, okay. I will not take a shot. I will still go for a long, all right. Okay. So for us people who are looking for short, not for all this pound. No, it is still on the long side, okay. It's still on the bull side, huh? So not for me. Pound yen, pound yen, pound yen definitely a bull. Okay, so over here looking at this, uh, if pound yen you are going to take a shot, uh, I don't think there is a lot of pips available. Okay, looking at this, probably, probably another 15 pips to 20, 15 to 20 pips around there. Yeah, about 15 to 20. 
So may you may you you may experience a fifteen to twenty pips retracement for short, but ultimately it is still anti trend trading because looking at this chart analysis here, it looks like it is still on the bull side. Okay, so over here, I guess it is still not a good chance. It's not a good time to short now. Huh? All right, so skip. Let's go to Pound Kiwi. All right, Pound Kiwi. Yeah, Pound Kiwi over here. Day one, we are we saw we can see over here there's a support level, and over here it is on the support. Okay, so right now using this. Okay, looking at this over here, right? It is a retracement in the bull market. Well, will it will it change the trend? Because H4 looks like it's trying to change the trend. Well, 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 it's still in the bull market. So no power kiwi. Okay, so for people who are doing short, it's not advisable. As for power dollar, all right, power dollar, <laughs> power dollar. <clears throat> Okay, let's look at power dollar. Day one, yep, it's in the suppression chart, but right now it's uh, moving upwards in the suppression chart, whereby the interchange is still going back to the prevailing bull trend. So it is still not advisable to do a short. All right. How about dollar cat? All right, dollar cat. Okay, dollar cat has a good. Okay, dollar cat. Let me see. Well, it has a good chance to short. Okay, dollar cat. It has a good chance to short, but it's uh over here. It's trying to build up. It's trying to build a support level. Okay, so it's quite tricky over here for dollar cat. Okay, the interchange over here in H4 is trying to change the trend to the bear market. It's trying to enter into the bear market. All right. So for this. Dollar can possible possible okay it's possible all right so we can uh but this dollar can I would say not a lot of pips available let me see about eleven eleven well eleven to about yeah about ten pips ten between ten twenty pips yeah okay so just have to be very careful with this quite tricky over here for dollar can ah huh? right now okay. Dollar franc over here. Dollar franc. Dollar franc generally is still being supported today. Will it go back to a prevailing short trend? In it's still not very obvious. Okay, <laughs> but uh, we still stand a chance. Okay, if it's trying to come back for a short trend, we still have around ten pips to go. Okay, before it hits on the H1 support level. All right, so just pay attention to that. Okay, dollar franc, but it still have a good chance. Okay, uh, unless this the uh, day one, it has also uh, go away with this support. Okay, it, okay, so H four. Hopefully, the interchange will have a resistance level. All right. Okay. Then this dollar yen. All right, dollar yen. Take a look, dollar yen. All right, dollar yen. Let me see. Dollar yen currently it has been going on the bull market for quite some time. Uh, this retracement has not shown me a very clear to short. Okay, and uh, but in terms of uh, in terms of uh, short term, okay, short term trading to grab a small pips, I think is still available for about ten. All right, ten to hit the support level. Whether it really breaks is another story. Okay, all right. So roughly, okay. I will conclude. Okay, Euro Pound. I think will be my pick today. Euro Pound. Okay, Euro Pound. Uh, it's just that you have to wait for the correct time to enter for the trade. All right. Probably like I say, the next resistant level in H1 to appear in H1. Then we start trading. All right. And uh, dollar cat. Dollar cat. Dollar franc, okay. Dollar cat, dollar franc, okay. Dollar cat, yeah. Dollar cat looks good. Uh, we still have a uh, quite a potential of about twenty pips, fifteen to twenty. Euro, uh, sorry, dollar franc, 
just now is you dollar cat now it's dollar franc about 10 10 15 15 yeah about 10 to 15 pips to go okay so look out for the space as well all right look out for the space as well well okay in this uh dollar yen dollar yen let's see all right dollar yen ah uh. okay dollar yen well dollar yen um same thing i will see it like a euro pound i will i would like to wait for another resistance level to have to have another resistance okay then i will start trading so probably we can keep a lookout with euro pound okay and dollar yen all right but uh, just take note of dollar yen because it's still in the bull market and we are doing anti-trend all right okay guys thank you so much right so in terms of uh, today's trading okay analysis uh it's all based on my personal reading over here i hope it helps okay so remember to click on the subscribe button to follow me and i try to provide this analysis daily okay leave a comment below so that i can do better all right thank you so much see you again this is eric day from acs learning hub i'll see you again and wish you good luck in your trading